Okay, in this tutorial, you're going to learn a little bit about the TruSpace 5.2 interface. Now, one thing I really do want you to understand, number one, if you go Google TruSpace online, you're going to find that there are much more recent versions of TruSpace. So you may ask yourself, why are we using an old version? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is the newest version of TruSpace requires a graphics card that, quite frankly, even with the expensive graphic cards we installed, it doesn't really run all that well on our computers. And number two, they are so, so not user-friendly that I felt that for an introductory course, it's probably easier and better for us to be using the older version of TruSpace. Though, that was a decision we made. Now, a couple things I want you to notice. I have a four-way screen up here. I strongly recommend that people always use the four-way screen. If you take a look down here, you can change the view to a single view, four-way view, all right? Also, you may notice that the four views have different versions. Okay, you have what's called the perspective view here, the little house from the side. House from the top, house from the front, front, and house from the three-quarter view. All right, so to get this tutorial started, what we're going to do is we're going to create upright text. Now, you may notice if you look at all these different icons, you can't find anything like that. Or actually, it's right here. It's down here right now. That's because I just recently did it. But if you want to find some, a tool and you can't, click on the trash tool barrel, and all the things shows up. Now, you'll notice on the third row all the way in the corner, there's ABC. That is the icon for up upright text. So I'm going to click on that, but I really would like to um, pick my own text. I don't want to use it to default. So I'm going to right click and of course that brings up all the other options. And I actually can see what the different options are. I'm going to go with Bondi. All right, and I'm going to go with bold, ita uh, just bold. And I'm going to make it a pretty good size text, so let's make it 36. And say OK. All right, and then I click on the trash barrel. That makes all the little icons disappear. I'm going to click here and I'm going to type Roscoe. Now, one of the things you need to do, you have to be careful not to deselect the name in this case. Because if you'll notice, everything's a pale blue. All right? And what happens, let me just show you what happens if I click off of it. Boom, I'm going to click. Oh, now it's no longer selected, and I can't do anything with it. So what you want to do is you want to keep it selected, and then you're going to drag over here where the sweep tool is, and you'll notice that the words of what the object is, it says bevel, macro sweep, lathe, tip, sweep tool, boom, and it makes it a three-dimensional object. Also, it, this little guy may show up, this little extra toolbar, it may show up or it may not show up, it may show up as just a little dot. When you mouse over the little dot, the toolbar shows up. It also allows you to do things with that face, like for instance, you could expand that face tremendously, or shrink it, or you could open up the toolbar again, and rotate it. I'm not sure why they felt it was such a good idea to put this in, because quite frankly, it doesn't really help you all that much. I would suggest very strongly that once you've played with that little toolbar, you just hit undo, because you want the words to be 3D, but you don't want to do anything too funky with them. All right, so there we go. So I got my name in 3D. The white arrow allows me to just select the object, and it deactivates the edges. Now, there is another tool that you may want to look at, okay, and I'm going to just hide it here. You may notice that there are the move tools. And in some cases, you see this little, this is one little feature of TrueSpace that I really don't like, is that it hides the tools unless you mouse over them. Now, when you mouse over, you get the three dots. If you click on it again, you get the five little dots. That will lock the toolbar in place. Really useful thing. Okay. You may notice that there are three sets of tools and then another three set of tools. If you mouse over, it says I move, I rotate and zoom, okay? And then the other tools say object move, object rotate, and object zoom. And I'm going to leave you to figure out what those things mean, okay? I want you to play with them until you actually figure out what those things do. So what have we done so far? Well, we've created some text, we've made it three-dimensional, and we've moved it around. There is one thing I would like you to notice, and that's what happens when you hit the object rotate tool. And I want you to think about what's going on when I rotate the tool. All right, I want you to notice what's happening. All right, and that's going to be part for the next tutorial. So I'm signing off for right now, and we're going to move on.